Hi, I'm Greg Undo with Steinberg. We're here to take a look at some of the new uh, features of Cubase 5, which we're debuting here at the Winter NAM 2009 show. Uh, one of my favorite features is the new Very Audio. And what the Very Audio is going to allow us to do is the easiest way to ever kind of correct pitch. So if I wanted to come over here, let's go ahead and just play just a little bit of our vocal file. So if I wanted to now just kind of zoom in, I could actually see, just after going to my Very Audio tab, it'll do a very quick analysis, and now I could automatically just snap the pitch to the correct note just like this. So now I can come over here. Now if I wanted to kind of actually even come over here, I could just tab, and if I wanted to even kind of change the melody, I could actually just kind of, we'll just listen to this now that we tuned it a little bit. So I can now just come over here, cut, right there and let me just say we'll cut right here and now I can just take that one individual phrase and then as I come over here I can just now rewrite the melody so if I want to even just tab with my keyboard so now I can just come right here and we could actually just change the melody or if I wanted to take that now and come right over here and I could just Now if I wanted that note to have a little less vibrato, the last note, I could just come over here and I could say straighten pitch. And now if I wanted to even make that note longer, I could just simply drag it out just like this. And so now if I want to listen to that phrase. So all that without any artifacts whatsoever. Now one of the coolest things is I could actually select an entire phrase so if I wanted to just sneak over here. And if I could do what's called pitch quantization. So if I want to just select that, I could actually now, just as I move my pitch quantization, you'll see all the notes just simply snap directly to the right pitch. And if I want to go for a kind of the T-Pain effect, I could just now come over here and kill all the vibrato as well. Now one of the great things is you can also come right over here and you can extract that as MIDI information and carry over the pitch bend data. So very, very the easiest way to ever edit vocals. Now one of the great things we also want to do with this is come up with a new convolution reverb called Reverence. So if I come over here, I could actually now, instead of trying to synthesize reverbs, we're actually taking impulses from real, re real hall. So I could actually come over here, browse through different presets. So right now I'm going to make the voice sound like it's in a stone chapel. And if I wanted to go through different presets, so if I want to go to an English chapel, or I want to go to an LA studio, an LA scoring stage, and I could have different presets, and I can morph between them. So if I want to go from my LA studio to my music academy, I could seamlessly switch just like that. Now we also have included some new virtual instruments. One is going to be a brand new instrument called Loop Mash. So if I wanted to come over here, this would allow us to drag and drop loops from any different source. And it would do an analysis. So if we like the feel of one loop and the sounds of other loops, we could actually extract the feel of that. Another new instrument that we've given is one called Groove Agent. And what Groove Agent is, is basically like a software MPC. But what's great about it is we can have all sorts of drag and drop. So if I want to take a loop from my project, I could drag and drop it directly onto a pad. If I wanted to come over here, I could now even take a sampled slice loop. And if I want to do that and hold down my shift key, it will now extract each of the slices across my pad. So I don't have to do that. Now, if I want to now drag that loop, I could just now drag that to my project window here. And this will make a MIDI file of that loop. So now I could just change each of the sounds there and actually extract the group quantize template. So brand new instruments. Now we also, so a lot of people have been wanting us to do brand new, having our tempo and time signature tracks in the project. So if I want to come over here, I can put in a new time signature track just like that. Or if I want to draw in tempo changes, I can just simply kind of come right over here and draw those in. Now, one of the great things we've added for our composer community is going to be with our VST expression. Because a lot of times we have instruments that have key switches, where if you hit this switch, it'll go to like a vibrato. If you hit this switch, it goes to staccato. And dealing with that with MIDI, because those actually just would hit a MIDI note. So now if we come over here, we have our VST expression. So if I want to take an actual look at a part, instead of my key switches just being directly as 
seen as normal MIDI notes, I can now see my expressions in my MIDI editor. So this saves composers countless time because now you can remember what all your key switches are. And one of my favorite new features is we've actually given you the ability of a batch export. So I can take all my files now and come right over here and do my audio mix down. And now I could, in one mouse click, I could say, okay, I want to export all my tracks, all my groups, my effects channels, my instrument tracks, all my VSTI tracks. So this way I can migrate it to any other program seamlessly in one mouse click. So all these new features, whether you're working with hip hop, beat production, whether you're working as a composer, whether you're doing vocal correction, you want to have new instruments, you're working as a composer for your VST expression, you want the tempo track, the signature track, as well as your batch export, you'll see it's the most strongest value version of Cubase ever released. And again, it's always keeping the workflow very tight and succinct to make the user experience very refined and a great way to work.